uh, let's talk a little bit about the two men here in their underwear, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, we have Moshe on this side. I don't know if it's the left side, if you can see that, but he's the one that looks, looks like he's giving a, you know, a punch, but it's not. And then you have Joe on the other side. And both men, and they are men, obviously, um, they came to their fields by way of their own infirmaries. With Joseph Pilates, he, he was known to be an asthmatic and had rickets. And, um, and, so, and, and he was in small in stature, and I believe his father was a, a very well-respected gymnast. So, and his mother was a naturopath. So he wa wanted to find a way, and his book is about return to life. How can he build an exercise system, you know, with that in mind? So we'll kind of go back and forth a little bit because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time with, with the backgrounds. But Moshe, similar, you know, he, he, um, he was a very learned man, came from a certain culture that really supported that. And he um, invested in learning about engineering, judo, so forth. So he really took a very scientific approach of movement retraining and motor learning. And so he happened to have injuries, soccer injuries that, that happened again later in life. And that's kind of how he went through his path of the discovery of their roots. So we are so fortunate that we have extensive work in biography, biographic information about Moshe. And there is some, you know, with Joseph Pilates, a little less, and you do get a little bit more stories. I had the fortune to um, go to a workshop the other night. Oh, that was last year, actually, the other night. I went to see Mary Bowen. I know it feels like the other night. And um, Mary Bowen was, is one of the founding people that studied under, our, under Joe. And so, she really dispelled a lot of myths that things that were being spread around about it and it was it was wonderful and we still have a very rich body of people that did study under Moshe that can tell us a little bit more about their stories but now I want to I want to bring this in I thought about this a lot thinking you know I don't want to bring it in that Pilates should have Feldenkrais or Feldenkrais should have Pilates I'm just going to talk from my own experience and I, the way I thought to look at it was looking at it as the somatic, somatic field. Now there are people that do teach Pilates that make it really still very much an exercise system and I'm not dispelling that that's good or bad. I'm just going to talk about the ones that I was able to come in contact with that were what, what are real true somanots. And somanots, you know, is a great, I just love that term. Um, a very good friend of mine, Susan Harper, who studied under with Emily Conrad um, in the field of continuum and has evolved it even further. I asked her, I said, where did the word somanat come from? And she said, you know, she, and she again, kind of, she says, I believe Emily Conrad came up with it in the early 70s. And then it was picked back up, you know, I, Gil Headley, I think, you know, referred to her as a somanat. And so the reason I want to bring somanat up is because it is about rather than like an astronaut looks into the field of space and, and, and but somanauts look into this inner space 